Well, on GD Anthem, the first line is, Trump should have freed Larry, fuck is wrong with dude. And, you know, uh, Larry Hoover Jr. shows up on Donda and, you know, and says what he says. And I actually reached out to Larry Hoover Jr. And I'm like, hey, is it is it at all possible to set up an interview with your dad? You know, I don't even have to do it. You know, you could do it yourself. You know, uh, we could work on questions together and I'll put it out through my platform. And he said, he they're not going to let him do interviews. He is in, he's in maximum security right now. They're not going to let him do it any of that his his he's essentially been silenced and everything else like that if by some chance larry larry hoover did come out do you think that it would make a big change in chicago i feel like it'll be a lot of people fall in line like it it it'll be a lot of people like older people you feel me that 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 uh that would be happy home and that that that'll kind of i don't it's more so it's all depending on what angle he would be aiming for if he came home on the, I don't think he'd be on that type of time. You feel me? He, he didn't did so much time. At this point, he just want to be with his family. You feel me? And be a normal person. Fuck that gang shit. It ain't about nothing. And I don't think nothing going to really change as much. Because like I say, it's not no structure, bro. It's not. It used to be structure. Older people getting on these young niggas ass. Like making sure niggas go to school. This wasn't always about gd and beat all these games wasn't wasn't for to to beef with to to get a get a nice amount of niggas so we can war with these niggas no nah, it wasn't about that bro gd was to to bring everybody together bring blacks together and 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 and, and um larry was trying to do shit like build communities and, and and help blacks and everybody come together and do the right shit you feel me when the nigga fucked up he got fucked up. You know why he got fucked up? Cause he fucked up. You feel me? Cause he did wrong. It was they wasn't fucking niggas up for nothing. It's more so like it was. It was more so a positive thing. The world just made it a a bad thing because the blacks was finally coming together and was finally creating an organization to where we could come together and be smart and started you know seeing the shit for what it really was because. I, don't, I look at it like if if you can have Masons or you can have um, Muslims, you can have police, all them is gangs, them organizations that they came together with. What's wrong with a person coming together, bringing people together? The, the problem right. was he was I mean, black. because. Right. But, you know, because, I mean, GD stands for gangster disciple, but there's also what's the other term that the GD I, I see people use? Growth and development. There you go. See there you go. And, and that that seems to be the thing that I, I'm seeing pushed more these days. Exactly. That's what it was always about, growth and development, bro. Everybody learning from the next man and, and helping each other. Like when I went to, when you go to jail, bro, like they really stick together, bro. Niggas say what they want to say, bro. All this GD, BD shit. When you go to jail, it's GDs and BDs together. They not having that shit. You going to get your ass beat trying to fuck with a, a BD, trying to beef with a GD. Because deep down inside, the GDs and BDs is under the same nation. The six point star, under the same. Right. But this the thing, like I go to jail, they handing you shit like soap. Here, here goes some um snacks. All the GDs, they gonna stick together. That's with the moles. With the vice law, every that's that's what ed, any type of gang in jail, bro. But what kills me is they only do it in jail. When you get out, they just right back to norm, right back to what it was. So it's like really a a, a stick together type of thing, bro. They help each other. That's what it was. That's what it started from. Then you got all these young niggas that got involved and and basically start being rebellious and not giving a fuck about nobody. Want to go shoot up on um, parks and shit, killing kids and shit now. Now, now the retaliation level is up here. You just killed the kid. Now they feel like I got to go kill somebody. Mama, I'm mad. Now you go back, do some shit like that. Now, now, now it's at an all time high. Now it's like, ain't no stopping it. 